so apple came up with a brand new apple event that's incredible event so i thought let's do a reaction video towards it and that's the reason we are here today and it's currently 1 a.m i'm shooting this video just for you guys so let's start it off it got started with tim talking about apple tv plus next we had iphones we have brand new green color for iphone 13 pro and 13 nothing up i really love that green color but that's not something we expected for right next we had iphone se with the same design but with a brand new a15 bionic chipset but it comes in three different colors and the more important thing that apple mentioned out in the event is 5g and nothing else sounds incredible about it it's the same design it's the same camera system it is the same there is photographic style included in it but other than that it is the same iphone se but with the new chipset and 5g it, it really disappointed me quite a lot so i expected a brand new design but i never expected a brand new pricing here we have talking about $429, $30 more than the iPhone SE second generation, which is funny just for the 5G tag and the, for the latest chipset, who is going to spend an extra $30? Is it really worth it? We can go for this divide for long, but the short story would be, no, I won't be saying it as worthy because there are a lot of good options out in the Android market. So next we had the iPad Air. So, surprise, surprise. This time I haven't thought that iPad Air would be incredible. All thanks goes to the M1. Yes, we have M1 processor on the iPad Air. I had never ever thought about adding an M1 processor on iPad Air, but they did. And yes, that's one of the bonkers out there. And next we had the center stage feature on that. And it starts for $599, which is a pretty awesome feature, pretty awesome pricing for it. And yes, it's awesome. And it's a value for money, just destroys every other laptop in this price range. And next is where the real king is, the M1 Ultra. <laughs> First, when I heard this name, I was very suspicious of it. Like, there is M1 Pro, there is M1 Max, there is Ultra. What, what, what Apple is doing with the, their naming? But okay, it's really worth the pro naming because of its incredible performance, which you'll be getting out of it. So <clears throat> to start off with, it is combined with two M1 Max Mac, two Mac M1 Max chipset integrated along a single chipset. Are you even kidding me or are you even kidding me like what's what's the hell putting a two incredibly performing chipsets in a one module i mean to achieve this they achieved it using a new technology called ultra fusion which is very efficient and it can help it to run as a single chipset which is pretty awesome right because this is something incredible because putting two chips in one computer is not possible till late but through this new technology new system i it's it's possible so hats of apple that's that's where you are heading towards and i love it and by this ultra fusion means that the m1 ultra acts as a simple chipset to the software so there is no need for the uh coders programmers to code for separately for this uh, brand new chipset so it's freaking great so it's awesome and then i thought is about a system or a device which it can go through and it is accompanied with a brand new mac studio okay that's the name of it <laughs> actually this this are the true actually uh, what people saw in leaks so it's Mac Studio. It's called to be as Mac Studio and Mac Studio Display. And I'm 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 really surprised by its name because it's just normal. But 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 wait, it is accompanied with the 
world class chipset M1 Ultra and to give a perspective about it it is supporting about 128 GB RAM and has around 7.4 gigabytes of SSD speed Pers that's like incredible and it can play 18 streams of 8K 4 to 2 video at the same time what else you want right and next let's talk about the Mac Studio comes with a 5K retina display okay it's all awesome right but wait there's something else it comes with a A13 Bionic chipset it's just a display for those who are wondering about it and a display for the first ever time comes with a powerful chipset and I would call this kind of a Mac running without a Mac OS that's how funny it is but yes it it's gonna be doing some awesome wonders out of it and the M1 M1 Ultra Mac Studio along with the M1 Mac Studio display it would be a banger of a setup right I mean I don't get a chance to do it but come on guys that's an incredible uh, setup and it provides incredible value too. M1 Ultra Mac Studio uh, starting at 64 GB RAM starts at around uh, $1,999 and sorry it's 32 gigabyte of ram starts at $1099 and the 64 gig of ram starts at uh, $3999 and the mac display mac studio display starts at uh, $1599 it's incredible value because before we had $6000 display so it's also awesome and by the way if you're wondering the mac pro will be not uh, will be not coming will be okay will be coming up soon so that's what they said in the event itself and to sum up it this event was filled up with some awesome playmaking and it's with the m1 ipad air the boring iphone colors the boring iphone se again the marvelous m1 ultra mac studio and mac studio display and what's your favorite product in it let me know in the comment section down below this is my thoughts on this i mean yes this is my overall raw thoughts on it this video isn't scripted at all some points here and there i have scripted but that's it this video is with incredible process because i'm gonna upload this video at 2 a.m freaking 2 a.m so i'm just sacrificing my sleep for you guys so do consider hitting the like button subscribe bell icon and i'll catch you up next one peace Thank you.